Hello and welcome back to another video. This is the default SDM config and if you have just installed the system, this is probably what you're looking at. But we don't want that. We want to configure our SDM to look a bit better and use other themes. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like on the video and let's get straight into it. Let me just log in and you can see that the SDM does not match the Hyperland config. So this is the end for Hyperland config. I'll try to put it in the description if I remember. <laughs> Apparently I do forget a lot. But anyway, uh, we have a terminal right here and the first First thing that I'll tell you, we'll go step by step. There are multiple ways you can actually install SDM themes. The first way is using Yay. Yeah. The, in the R repository, there is like a lot of themes. So you can do that SS. And if you just type in SDDM, just SDDM, nothing else, you'll see it will automatically pop up like, uh, where is it? If you go a bit higher, uh, there you go. Uh, SDM theme, Arial, SDM sugar dark. So there is a lot of themes and stuff in here. And you can see abstract dark, uh, capuchin. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it uh chinese painting so there's a lot of themes in here and it's to be honest it's pretty straightforward you can just uh if i just go to firefox and let's say you are like you don't want to know how this looks like so let's say um, let's say we want to see this so cat pushing themes so yeah i tried to change the general resolution i failed i don't know why but anyway that's not the point the point is uh if you just want to type in cat pushing theme sdm uh, you can actually uh, like let's go into the github and see how that looks and if you like i said if you go to github you can actually find uh, how it to install it and like literally the whole process of how to doing it but we won't go there just yet so let's say uh, uh let's say i want this uh, or this one uh i think it's a minimalist so sdm theme minimalist so i'll just copy this and if i just do a dash s control shift v hit enter so this will install the theme now why i say this is if you do search for uh sdm themes uh, by default, you'll see the first one that also is called KDE Store. But the trick about KDE Store is that it won't work with everything because it does require you to kind of have KDE Plasma installed. And if you are using KDE, it's like literally in the settings menu. If you go to settings, colors, and um, I'll, I'll try to show you like if I, I'll record a video of it uh, on how to set it on the um, KDE. It's pretty easy on KDE, but uh, like I said, this is for a general purpose SDM theme. So this, instead of going to here, you can, you have to actually go here and this is an absolute gold mine of theme now we won't go here just yet let me just show you how to kind of have the theme by default so what you'll do is just to ls this directory right here this is what stores all your sdm themes so if you click on here as you can see i have a lot of themes installed and let's remember the folder name so these are all the folders this everything is folder in here so let's say this one right here minimalist <laughs> nmm lst and we can actually what you need to do is do sudo nvim slash hc slash sddm.config now if you don't have this make sure to create this and if you don't know how to create it uh, there is sdm does provide an example config so you can do sdm config type in this and then slash hc slash um yeah uh, sdm config so just type this and it what it will do is take the example config and put it in your sdm config but anyway since we do have this we can do sudo and vim so also if the example config doesn't work because of permission just make sure to type in sudo before it hc slash sdm config go in here and you can see the theme current is currently empty so in case you don't want any theme or if you are having troubles with any themes you can actually keep it blank and it will like fall back to the default theme and let's remember we the folder was called minimalist lst and that's about it so if you just uh, if i just save this so minimalist, so save and exit also you can use any text editor whichever you prefer and we'll just you know i'll just do a quick reboot just to show you so reboot now so if i just turn it on it doesn't take that long you'll see there you go yeah it's a it's a really light theme uh so yeah we, we can try something else so if i just log in i guess yeah it, it went to kde plasma like intro i don't think we do have kde so this is the first thing that i will say if you are using from like themes from the kit there is a chance that it will kind of think that it's in kde but usually sdm is, is used with kde so it may break so what do you do if it breaks the first step what i like to do wait, hold on, did it die? i'll just turn it off and turn back turn it back on again so yeah, usually if you are stuck on it rebooting uh, you can do that if i do this oh no why is it plasma oh no well yeah it, it it is broken that makes a lot of sense so in case you have a situation like this where it is broken you can do ctrl alt f3 go to another tty uh, it can be fcf 4 f5 whatever it is i can do that and let's just say okay so that theme is broken i have something else i have cat poaching and i installed it with yay dash s uh sddm 
um, theme. I think it was called cat, literally cat ocean. Uh, let me see if this exists. Uh, if I do SS, uh, yeah, this is the one that I downloaded. And let's say I want a cat poaching mocha. So I'll do this. Go to here again, like I said, in here. And then just change this to cat poaching dash mocha. If I just go it out of it, and then we can do a quick reboot again. And make sure to reboot this because uh, if you're troubleshooting it, it may kind of sometimes break. But there you go. We are in here. And if I just do login now, wait, why is it plasma? I think the settings just kind of messed it up. Yep. Okay, what is happening? Oh, yeah, there you go. Hyperland. Why, why is plasma in here? So, like I said, if it kind of breaks, you can kind of fix it right there. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, the plasma got added. But like I said, you have to be really careful about what theme you install. And for that, now, like I said, if this happens to you, I would recommend just go to Firefox like I said, or any browser that you prefer. And then in here, let me just restore this session. Go to this right here. GitHub topics, LDM theme. I'll put, try to put it in the description, like I said. And you can see there is a lot of themes in here. And let's say, mm, as in sugar, we want this. And what the, the great about this is it actually gives you guides on how to install it and what you need. Like there's a lot in here. And you can see there, there's guides and stuff. But if it doesn't have an install script by default, what you have to do is just download this. And we can just download it. We can do, just copy this and we can do kit. Uh, to be honest, you know, uh, I'll just put it in the themes folder. So I'll go here. I'll do kit clone. So shift V. There we go. And I don't think this will work. I think I need sudo for this. Yep. Because we are in another directory. So yeah, there you go. So it should download it in there. So now you can see if I do ls. And then let's say I'll do ls sdm sugar. Yeah, it has the whole thing. And we can actually rename it. We can do mv this to let's just rename it to sugar. I need permission. So you can do sudo for this. If I do ls, I can see it just got renamed. So we can do ls sugar just to make sure that it's all right yeah, there you go now what we have to do is the same thing uh that we did last time we can do uh there we go and then just change it to sugar so just change it to the folder name and that should be it now don't just uh, click off the video just yet there is a bit more i want to show you uh yeah Hold on. let me just reboot this let me just check if this theme works yeah as you can see it does work so there we go so it just logged in now what i said is there is a theme so if you didn't notice uh in here so the first uh, so as you can see this doesn't have an install script but there are some things like this one the astronaut one which do come with their own scripts so if i just scroll down a bit so click on this and then if you just click here you see this literally has a menu that you can install stuff from so if it's like this you can see so it says all of the below so it will do install dependencies with package manager clone theme from now i already did this once but you know what i'll just just to show you guys now if i do one and it will install the whole thing so there you go so as you can see it does detect the old configs and in this directory there are multiple themes so you can pick whichever one you prefer so let's say i think it does have animated themes as well there's a lot so let's say i want this japanese aesthetics so let's go with six hit enter and there we go it ask for password and now if i do sudo reboot now so this basically just really has an installed script oh yeah sometimes it just goes dark like this so like i said if it does go dark you can literally just turn it off and turn it on again it will work and also if it does kind of break when it's turning off oh okay that is something it kind of actually looks nice if you're going for an aesthetics like this sure but that's the general aspect of it and we can actually just uh, go in here and you'll notice that there is actually a lot like it's not like one two themes there. there's like a lot of themes here you can literally have genshin themes so whatever you prefer you can just uh go in there and uh, let's say like uh, this one this is the one we just since also it's sugar dark if i go in here and uh, not this uh if I go to silent, like you, you can see here, uh, this doesn't have, uh, I would say, what do you call it? Uh, this doesn't have like a fully on install script, but it does, like I said, have a yay download candidate. And it does also guide you through how to manually install it and stuff, all that good stuff. Also, I think, yeah, you can customize how it looks and stuff. But anyway, so hope you guys did uh, find uh, this video helpful as yeah, it's pretty nice to have your own theme customized. And so if you did enjoy this video, thank you so much for watching this video into the video i'll see. make sure to subscribe leave a like on the video and check out the shop all my socials follow me on those there's new stuff on there so make sure to check all those out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye that's the horrible intro outro i have ever given